We are talking Lego today, but something different. Lego tattoos. Let's see what I did now. You may have seen my other Lego tattoos. I have four of them. Now I'm starting a Lego sleeve. We're starting a Lego sleeve that is all 80s references. So I have a several characters picked out from the 80s that all exist in Lego form. A lot of them ended up being in the Lego's Dimensions packs. And then a lot of Lego, not Lego, but food references and just other 80s references. One of them will be a Rubik's Cube. One of them is a Nintendo controller, the NES controller. And there's some other stuff. I'm not going to give it all away. But this is a long process. I'm going to do it in small spurts, some of it, and it will be mostly the outlines at first, and then the color comes towards the end, which is the worst part. 13 needles at once sometimes when they're filling this stuff in. It hurts a lot. I'm starting up here on the upper arm here with Michelangelo and his nunchucks. And it may a little, look a little wonky right now, and that's because none of the shading's in, none of the other line work is in. Here you can see a lot of pink in the tattoo, and that's a lot of placeholders for what eventually is going to be shaded in with color. At the top of the nunchucks here, you have a little bit of pink with a stud on the top, as well as in the foot, there's some line work, and that's again where there's not going to be hard, heavy black lines, but color shading into the shape of the foot, or in whatever other areas. There's a slice of pizza going up here, and there's going to be another piece of, a whole pizza actually going below Michelangelo on the bottom somewhere. He needs to see where that's going to fit in with all the other figures. Uh, there's going to be some more figures going in on the inside of the arm, on the forearm, all the way down to just above the wrist area. So it's a long process, it's going to take possibly six, seven, eight months, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. There are two other characters coming up rather quickly because the tattoo artist, and his name is Jay Blackburn, I'll give him a little shout out at Powerline Tattoo in Cranston, Rhode Island. He's amazing, he loves Disney tattooing and he really likes doing this Lego stuff. He's even talking about buying some 3D software to try and render his own figures so that way he can move them the way he wants to. A lot of the references from this were stolen from, I say stolen, but we took other Lego figures and used their, their, their legs and their, and their arms just to get the right angles because it's really difficult drawing a 3D version of Lego when it's not a normal just straight figure. When you have arms just straight and everything else that's simple but when you want to start twisting and making it a little more realistic it's a lot harder to do. So on the inside of the arm is going Beetlejuice. He's on the inside because he's white, a lot of white, black and white but the white can fade and look funny in the sun if you keep it in the sun a lot so that's one that you don't want to have in the sun. And down here is going Marty McFly, obviously from Back to the Future, but I want him looking at his arm, so he's looking at his watch on his arm. I think that's kind of an iconic pose that you see from Marty, and I think that would be great right here. And he's really excited about doing this whole thing, and I'm excited, although the pain, the pain on, the in, on the outside isn't bad. I'm worried about the pain on the inside of the arm, that's the part I'm not looking forward to. And then the coloring, like I mentioned, 13 needles sometimes when you're doing this full shading in there. It, it can be painful when you're going over the same spot over and over and over again. But I'm excited to show this to you and I'm excited to see how the whole thing comes out. And I'll give you more updates as we go along and hopefully you can follow the tattoo process of a Lego tattoo sleeve. I hope you guys stay tuned and follow the progress of this. I think I'll make a separate video feed. What do you call it in YouTube? I don't know. Whatever. Playlist. Playlist from the background. You heard that? Playlist. We'll make a separate playlist for the tattoo updates the progress of it there'll be there could be several there could be five there could be ten there could be fifteen depending on how long this whole thing takes i'm excited about it i hope you stay comment on what you think about it let me know your thoughts on it on the 80s theme that i'm going with and everything else don't forget to check us out on instagram and youtube and facebook and twitter at built from bricks as well as our monthly live stream which is on the third thursday of each month at 6 p.m eastern standard time thanks for watching what have you built today Yeah. <laughs> is, all, is the washers going? The, yeah. the water outside's going? <laughs> Other Lego tattoos, but I do have... Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs>